Korea and the United States agree North Korea must first express intentions to abandon its nuclear ambitions in order for the stalled six-way nuclear talks to reopen. Attention is now being drawn to what North Korea will say at consultations with Chinese officials. Our Beiju Yun has more. The top nuclear negotiators of South Korea and the United States agree the six-party nuclear talks can only resume once North Korea reveals it will give up its nuclear weapons development program. South Korea's chief nuclear envoy Cho Tae-yong held talks with his U.S. counterpart Glenn Davis on Monday and Tuesday. Cho told reporters he and Davis are thinking along the same lines, and they are fine-tuning their thoughts based on the common thinking. He also described the talks as very satisfactory. South Korea and the U.S. share the belief there is no point in holding the Six Nation talks unless North Korea renounces its claims to being a nuclear power. Diplomatic sources in Washington said the six-week talks could get back on track if Kim Jong Un and the rest of North Korea's leadership declare Pyongyang will scrap its nuclear weapons program. Sources also said North Korea would be able to place a moratorium on its nuclear tests and long-range missile launches if it agrees to end its nuclear program.